everybody and welcome back to another Coaster Cheetah video and in this video I'll be doing a coaster review for Invader at Busch Gardens Williamsburg which is a surprisingly very good and punchy family GCI wooden coaster and yeah it's just a really great coaster in my opinion and it is uh, deserving of a coaster review because I think it is a very underrated coaster and definitely gets overshadowed by some of the other coasters at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. <clears throat> so starting off with the layout you go up the lift hill, and after this lift, you have a little dip into an unbanked turn, and then you go up a little bit into your covered drop, which is 74 feet. And yeah, this is honestly a really good drop in my opinion, because not only do you go into a tunnel afterwards, but yeah, it is covered, which provides a great visual. And then after the tunnel, you rise up and bank into a pretty snappy overbank hill. And then you drop down, starting off curved, but then you snap into a straight drop. And then you go up into two rapid-fire airtime hills. Then you kind of curve down to the right and up into another airtime hill. Then you go into another banked curve. However, this one is honestly not very banked, so you do get some great forces on this one. And then you snap to the left and up into a curved airtime hill. Then you go up into, or down, sorry. So after that curve, you drop a little bit and then a little bit again, getting some great air time for a double down. Then you rise up again, and this time you drop twice again, so two double downs in a row. And then you kind of go into this helix-like element because you are banking down, and then right after that, you bank up and into the brakes. So a very short ride, however, very punchy, snappy quick and yeah it's a really great ride in my opinion packed with airtime especially for a family coaster it definitely gets overlooked by not only the other coasters at Busch Gardens Williamsburg but also other GCIs so now let's get into my likes and dislikes about this coaster again not really that much dislikes maybe for it to be a little longer however I don't think you know obviously it's a family coaster and they can't make the drop any larger so I would rather it be this quick and maintain its speed than have bad pacing and be longer in my opinion so plus they were not working with a ton of space the only thing i'd suggest is some theming like some nice viking-esque theming would be great on my opinion on this but one. yeah this ride does look really nice in the woods and you do get some great views of it you know on the like train and the uh, boat ride so yeah it's all around just a really great attraction and again i don't really have anything bad to say about it the restraints are good again a great family coaster probably one of the best family coasters i've ridden again my big problem is the theming i think the trains are very well themed and they look excellent if only they could carry on that theme to the rest of the ride but i mean you know i feel like they're more like they're newer rides are a bit more less themed because you know Verbolton was like in the 50 millions and so yeah I think they're kind of straying away from theming because they know that their guests will like it even though it's not themed however yeah that is my biggest gripe with this coaster is that it is not very well themed and for my personal score of this ride I'm gonna give it probably a uh, either a 7.5 or an 8 out of 10 I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 though it was extremely smooth when i went it is very maintained well just like all the sea world and bush gardens parks maintain their rides extremely well and also this ride is not really a true wooden coaster because it has steel a uh, steel structure however i basically i mean i consider this a wooden coaster because the you know the structure has no effect on the actual ride so it doesn't really increase the smoothness or anything it just gives the ride a longer lifetime uh, than it would if it was a wood structure and i think they did learn that from original guazi and if you don't know this actually these trains are actually very much refurbished versions of the original guazi train so yeah these are the original guazi trains just extremely refurbished and yeah i mean you honestly can't even tell at all because these trains just look so great. Also, the station is really nice. However, I did use Quick Q on this ride, and I did notice that it was a little weird because you went through the exit, which was like, I don't know, it was really weird, and you didn't get to pick your seating or anything, so not a big fan of that. However, the actual ride experience on this coaster is really nice, and I highly recommend this coaster at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Don't skip over it. And yeah, it's definitely more than a credit, in my opinion, because it's honestly, if it was a bit more well themed i'd probably like it better than verbolton however i mean the theming on verbolton and like everything about that coaster does rank it higher for me however this is a great coaster at bush gardens williamsburg definitely check it out 
when you go visit Bush Gardens Williamsburg. If you did, if you did enjoy, guys, please like and subscribe. Comment down below what you think of Invader. Also, comment down below, down, <laughs> down below any other video ideas that you'd like to see on the channel. Also, comment down below any uh, questions you have for my Q&A. That will be coming out on November 21st. And yeah, guys, I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye. Go!